Hello, Zebra Herd. Welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Today, we are taking a look at the final reward for the birthdays event. It is going to be the legendary scientist upgrade. And on top of that, it is also going to be the Steam Master costume. So I'm very excited for that. And for completing that, we'll also unlock uh, one final reward, which we'll see in a moment. But for right now, the Steam Blaster legendary scientist upgrade swap primary weapon for a short ranged area controlling steam weapon. I've been seeing a lot of people use this. It seems very, very powerful. I gotta go ahead and get some extra prize bulbs. That shouldn't be too big of a deal. There we go. So let's unlock the Steam Blaster, and along with it, we should unlock the final upgrade for free. This is the Steam Master costume. It steams a dream when you use it for schemes. Otherwise, it's hot. <laughs> All right then, so we'll go ahead and get this for free. And there we go, the prize map has been completed for the birthdays event, which means we also get the Sprocket Scientist Legendary costume. As you can see, he specializes in steam brains and handsome steamy brains. <laughs> Interesting. We'll be showing case, showcasing that costume in a later episode, but for right now, we'll be doing that one legendary costume and that one legendary ability. Like I've said before, I've seen a lot of scientists use this. It seems to be a very, very powerful setup, but here we are. Um, we're gonna go just fully equip that. Very cool looking, lots of detail, uh, lots of different moving parts to it's all emitting steam. Very steampunk-ish. Uh, and on top of that, we need to upgrades, go to our upgrades, and basically just unequip everything so that we can have enough for we still have something equipped here. Where is that? Oh, there it is, reflexive. Uh, so we wanna get Steam Blaster. Uh, that'll take up five slots. Oh, it means that we get two more left. So we can do uh, Rollout. We could do Allies Get Revived Faster when in proximity to Sticky Healy Thingy. Um, I'm not exactly sure. Gain health by reviving an ally. We might wanna do that one. Or I think this would be good. And then we can do yeah, well, let's do something like that then, and we'll see how that goes. So we'll still have the ability to revive. We can't use our primary weapon to heal. No, we can, we can. But yeah, we have this weapon. I, this seems very similar to some of the short range scientists um, that we've had in World of War II, like the chemist. So we'll have to see. But for right now, let's hop into some turf takeover. Okay, so it looks like we're defending here on um, whatever this place is called, I forget. <laughs> But yeah, very excited to check everything out and see how it goes with this ability, with this upgrade. Of course, this is the third legendary character upgrade we've gotten out of an event. We've gotten one for Colonel Corn, the Rose, and now the Scientist. And for this, we're definitely going to be playing a lot more aggressively as we would with, like I said before, the Chemist or some of the closer range sciences that you might end up seeing in God of War for 1 and 2. Um, that's how this one works. Uh, so, and it looks like there's already a Steam Scientist out that way. And this might not be the best idea. I gotta be careful. I gotta be really careful. But we can also heal ourselves up a bit if things get a little too nasty, maybe. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, where did that one sunflower go? I know that so many people are used to dealing with this scientist after, you know, the last month that they're probably gonna be extra defensive against me if I don't do so well in today's episode, so be it. But we'll just try our best. I might have to warm up with it a little bit. Yeah, that's not gonna go out far enough. I also have to get used to however long the range is. But that doesn't mean I can't, you know, play as a supportive scientist and heal and stuff. There we go, there we go. I gotta back it up from that though, for sure. And there's a lot of people on my team that need healing right now, so we should definitely get to that, even if it isn't, you know, too much what I'm going to be focused on in general. If I could help out a little bit. But I've yet to get a vanquish with anything yet. Uh, trying to change it. Okay, so you don't see me. And look at how much damage that does. What really does the damage is if they stay in the mist. So you have to pay attention to how they're moving around and stuff. Because even if it just hits them a little bit, when they stay in the mist, that's when the real damage starts to stack up and it gets real crazy. So definitely trying to keep that in mind. Singling out characters that might stay still a little bit more often, like the cactus, are a very, very good idea. And the citron even. Look at that. Okay, let's warp away. Uh, reload real quick. And you can see how crazy this weapon is. Honestly, a little too crazy if you ask me. I mean, keep in mind, the scientist is supposed to, supposed to be a support class. The fact that he can do this wild amount of damage is sort of throws off what his class type is supposed to be. I'm not gonna complain about that too much because it, it is fun to play, don't get me wrong, but it's just also really crazy and it makes it sort of confusing on you know what kind of role are you supposed to approach with the scientist. And that's sort of the interesting thing about legendary upgrades is they're supposed to change sort of like a variant change. But I don't know if, a, if the legendary upgrade should be so effective that it basically changes what class this character is. Cause now he's more of an attack class with healing abilities. And that's a little crazy. 
I feel like, you know, obviously if you compare scientists' primary weapon in Garden Warfare 1 and 2, to even just a base scientist. If you compare that to what it is in this game, I feel like Garden Warfare 1 and 2, it's better. But I think it needed to change that way so that the scientist was more of a support class. Oh, I see that. I'm not gonna walk over that. Or maybe I will, because I did no damage to it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> this is to be a little bit more direct with it. Okay, so they did get this point. We got a Vanquish there, though. And you can get a good three or four shots out of this. But stacking 13 damage at a time is insane. It's totally insane. Um, let's be careful. They might try to get me here, but if I just run around the corner, heal myself up, this is where things can get crazy, just like that. And they're still trying to get me in trouble here. <laughs> and they do succeed, because there's like three against one. But that was insane, wasn't it? We're already up to six Vanquishes. Uh, and I'm gonna try not to be too egregious to the plant team, because I, I know what it feels like to be on the receiving end of this, but at the same time, that's how you play it. So it's, just, it's really interesting. Is it fun? Is it really good? Yes, absolutely. Is it imbalanced? Maybe. I think that's my final verdict on it. I think it's it's pretty fair to say that it might be a bit imbalanced. But I would love to hear your thoughts on it. What are your thoughts on the Steam Blaster for the Scientist? And on top of that, what are your thoughts on this legendary costume that comes along with it? I think it's really cool, for sure. Um, I think it's definitely one of the best abilities, but on top of that, oh my. I think it's also one of the coolest costumes so far. It has a lot of movement to it, and I think just, you know, steampunk style for the scientist is like a, a pretty, pretty, like almost no brainer idea. It just seems like it'd be a really good idea, and it, and it looks great. I think there might have been more of a steampunk style aesthetic for some of the costumes in Guard War for one or two for the scientist, and that also looked good. Wow. Um, gotta be careful. Keep moving, don't stop, and into the cheese I go. Oh, I'm invincible. Why was I invincible when I bounced off the cheese? Was that a wizard? Was that a very, very fast wizard that just helped me there? I have no clue. That was really odd. Um, anyways, we got this guy over here. I can help out with him a little bit. And let's make sure we get you. Nice. So far, so good with everything. I mean, they were still able to get the first point. I want to see how that ends up happening. Oh my. Let's back it up for right now. If I could get up here, that might be nice. Oh boy. So let's get a quick revive, because remember, we can still do that pretty quickly. Oh no, oh no. Oh, I tried to warp out of there. Didn't quite work. <laughs> but yeah, this is definitely a lot of fun. I'm guessing I'm gonna get a lot of good levels for my scientists with this. Uh, we're currently level one. Yeah, we just got into Super Elite not too long ago, so we're on the road to getting him to master. That should be great. And like I said, stay tuned, because we will also be showcasing the other legendary costume we got for him for completing the full prize map. We've showcased all of the other birthdays event things so far. And speaking of some cool stuff that have happened during birthdays, if you didn't see last episode, there was a whole new map that came out. And hopefully we'll see more of it today. We'll have to see if we get lucky for that. Oh my, oh my. Let's be careful here, because this is, this is a problem. So that kind of closed off space like that. Might not be the best for me. I mean, I guess, I don't know, it's hard to say. But definitely, it's not like it's invincible. There are definitely some spots where I'll need to play well to be able to uh, make things work with the scientists. But I'm sure a lot of people are getting sick of it because it just seems like there's already, you know, I'm like one of the three, I think, Steam scientists running around right now. I'm sure that gets a little bit tiresome. I get that. So, obviously, I do plan on playing with this upgrade, but I might not as much um, afterward I'm showcasing things, just because it seems like so many other people already do. I don't know if they've changed it at all with the newest patch that just came out. Um, I'll have to check and see, but I don't have that open right now, so I'll have to check some other time. I don't think so, though. I don't think it was changed. Definitely doesn't seem like it. Either way, it looks like they were able to push that point, now they're going to the old fort. Why is the game so laggy? What is going on? <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it's crazy how many legendary abilities are stacking up, and it doesn't end here with the newest update. They have confirmed what the um, the next legendary ability will be. Yeah, just getting laggy. I just I can't keep up with that if it's gonna be that jittery. But they've confirmed that the next one is gonna be for Super Brains, and it'll be coming in the month of July. So that'll be cool. Oh my, oh my. Okay, yeah, heal me up if you don't mind. <laughs> we'll heal each other. But there's, okay, you gotta go. Please attack. There we go. Not gonna get hit by that, that's for sure. But in July, we have ourselves another legendary upgrade, our second one for our zombie class. It'll be for the super brains. Um, so I don't know what we're gonna be getting in the month of June. 
So far, it doesn't seem like too much. Like there's like some kind of Rux thing happening that nobody really knows about. But beyond that, it seems like it's, it's, it's an event, but it's just not much of one. Maybe there's stuff they haven't confirmed yet. You never know, seeing how they released that map out of nowhere. Okay, so let's try to make our way over a little bit. Once again, try to put that steam in a spot where they have to traverse back and forth a lot. Because that means it'll stack up the damage by a huge amount. Gonna reload again. The sunflower doesn't see me. Oh, and once you just get multiple shots out like that, it's it's like game over for him. Oh, especially for a much lower health character. I don't know where she went. Okay, uh, back it up. Run, run, run. I need some healing. So let's get over. It looks like there's a Dr. Heals here. I don't think I can make a shot that far. Yeah, not quite. I'll toss that onto you. And then this cactus doesn't see me. Once the cactus is a pretty easy target when she's not running away. Where is she going? I think she's just trying to be a distraction. Let's go around the corner now and try to get you a little bit. Oh no, I walked right on top of a nightcap. Yikes. Come on, I'm gonna get you. At least I'm going to try to. He's jumping around a lot and it definitely helps him. Okay, come on, that was nice. Now over this way, throw down a heal for at least myself. What happened to the heal? I don't know, he just went away. Okay, back it up. Whoa, I tried to, it didn't work. That was weird too, but anyways. Oh my gosh. Let's try again. They're still struggling to get this point. We're up to 15 vanquishes now. It's not a huge ton, but it's definitely pretty good. So yeah, definitely. This is an effective upgrade. Probably the most effective upgrade I've seen. Because a lot of them, after they, you know, you get over the initial like wow factor of it being a new upgrade, you don't see them being used as much. You know, the Colonel Corn upgrade, it gets used pretty often, but not nearly as much as it used to when it was first added, where everybody was using it, you know? Um, same thing with the Rose one. I don't even see, like the Rose one I see even less, which honestly, I thought the Rose one was great, so I'm surprised I don't see that one more often. But for this one, I mean, obviously it still has that wow, it's new factor, so we'll have to wait and see. But I have a feeling that unless they nerf this one, it's going to keep around for a while. Especially when you get two scientists like this. I mean, the chompers can definitely disperse this pretty well, so we gotta be careful of that. But if I could just stick around with my scientist friend here and we can heal each other, it gets pretty, pretty dangerous for them pretty quickly. Okay, you're gonna try to revive. I'm going to try to revive too. Uh, can I get you? can I get you? Yep. So we're making it very difficult for them. And like I said, there's another steam scientist right over that way. You're welcome. Okay, so I can't quite get up there. Oh, but we can still get you. Are you a different cactus? I guess so. Awesome, back it up. Level two achieved. All that work and I'm now just getting level two. Yeah, I guess because it's super elite, it takes a lot more experience to level up. I hear a chomper, but I don't see one. He's over this way. But yeah, this feels like an unfair amount of steam scientists, to be honest with you. An unfair amount. There we go, we're just gonna back up for a second. I need to heal. Oh, here we go, I'll heal you too. There we go. Oh, here he comes. Probably a bad idea for a little acorn to go out this far. Where did he go? I don't know. <laughs> oh, here he is. There we go, we got him. So we got times for vanquish streak. There's still have one minute left to take this point. Oh, they're trying to revive right now. Which once again, that's a great opportunity to actually use this weapon because they're sort of stuck in one location. But that wasn't so good. So definitely, I think that there's even a lot of room for improvement for me with this weapon. Um, okay, so let's respawn. And let's keep going. So 30 seconds remaining. Let's see what we can get to. Oh gosh. They're all rushing in now, which We'll try to put a stop to, throw down a heal or something like that. Oh, they're all bunched up. That can be really good for us. We just got a double vanquish. Sneaking around this way now. Just trying to give them a hard time. And it's working. Oh man. I, I honestly do feel bad though, that it's this good. And there's this many scientists running around with it. But it looks like we just got our first win with the ability or the um, upgrade. That's awesome. Let's see what we can get done next time. 
Okay, so we're defending this time, just like last time, so we'll see how this goes. I can't wait to try the scientist on a more attacking position, but definitely with defending, it doesn't really matter. Support class can, you know, work with both, of course, quite well. But I think that for this specific scientist, it would be fun to try it on attack, so. We'll have to wait for that. Not this round, but maybe next round. Oh, hoo hoo! All right, so we got rid of an acorn there. And that was just an AI acorn, you can see on the top right. And that's something I talked about last episode, they started adding AI opponents. Okay, let's heal up who I can. I gotta revive you, if it'll let me, it will not. Um, oh my, oh my, come on. Let's get this guy real quick. I do not wanna be a goat, but that's what I am right now. Okay, gotta run. So, so far things have been a little bit weird. They have been trying to really bring the action. Okay, that that was just silly of me, I just went right into that. Uh, but we'll try again. So yeah, I guess right now they have a pretty good formulated attack. Okay, so we'll try to defend against this, but they're taking it so fast. And that's sort of the one big weakness I could definitely see to this scientist is just them sticking together in this really big group. It can be really hard to dispatch and pick out. Um, of course, there are some classes that strive from straying away from the group, like the nightcap, um, but they can be hard to hit because they run around so fast. But that's what we just gotta keep in mind. Okay, get this. Oh, teleport away. I don't wanna deal with that, I don't have to. <laughs> Come on, come on. Oh man, I tried healing you up there, but it wasn't enough. I don't think we can do this. Actually, the shield will allow me to. Thank you, shield. Uh, time to move. <laughs> My gosh. But now that they're grouped up, it, it's just hard to hit them. Because, I mean, I can hit them quite well. It's just a matter of surviving long enough to get a good shot and can be a bit of a challenge. Okay, where are you going? If they just simply run away, it can actually really go south. Oh, what is, what was that? The game just totally slowed down there. There's some weird stuff going on with that. I have no clue, but it's all right. We'll keep it going. But right now the plant team is dominating, uh, at least when it comes to actually doing the objective. So we'll keep at this. Well, I'll heal you up a little bit if you need it. There we go. See, sometimes the game will lag out and it'll just, cancel my sprint, which is not good. Okay, watch it. Oh. So far, so good, there we go, we got the nightcap. When they're not paying attention to me, that definitely helps. <laughs> oh boy. But when, you know, things aren't going so well, I can still, you know, do what a support class does. You know, help out my teammates a little bit. I'm gonna throw that heal out. Get ourselves nice and ready. Okay. Ooh, she's running. We we'll definitely get that pea shooter a little bit. I don't know if I can help you too much here, but I'll try. No, no, you're fine, you're fine. We got it. So now they're starting to struggle a little bit. This this corner can be a bit of a uh, a choke point for them. Wow, okay. I teleported from one problem into the next. That's not gonna help. So let's keep going. Yep. So we have two and a half minutes to defend this. We might be able to, I mean, we got the successful defense last round. I'll we'll have to see if it happens this time. Uh, I feel like if it is gonna happen, it's gonna happen on the next one, opposed to this one. Because usually they get to this one, not too bad. It, it sometimes can be a bit of a struggle, but we'll have to wait and see. Plenty of time for it to go either which way. Oh, here we go. Once again, I need to seek out. When the Sunflower or other classes are reviving, that's when I gotta go in for it, because what are you doing? I don't know if he knows. Okay, but he's, he, he made it work. <laughs> then there was more of the pea shooter guy over there. <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah, it gets, it gets really crazy. But if I can seek out those plants that have to stay still for any kind of action, either that be reviving or cactuses that are doing some long distance stuff, that's where I can stack up the vanquishes quite a lot. We're already up to 10 vanquishes, even though I haven't been doing very well this round. That's a good chunk of vanquishes to have. Okay, we'll get that there. And once again, my goal is just to sneak around and see any of the stragglers I can take out and also heal anybody else who might be trying to do the same thing. Like you. I just wanna throw this heal at you. Let's help you a little bit. Oh no, oh no, you're on my team, you're on my team. So there's lots of zombies out this way. <laughs> then we should be able to no problem make sure they're not pushing this point. Oh, 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 okay, back it up, back it up. Yeah, that guy was Gatling. 
Wow, that was good. That was really good. I'm gonna reload real fast. Seeing that there's not many enemies around here. So now the zombie team is starting to uh, make some major work happen. And that's exactly what we needed. Okay. Um, let's try it over this way. But that's where I'm curious about when we're on the attack team. Will we be able to really stack up damages because they'll be trying to stay in one concentrated area to defend? Maybe then we can get some major vanquishes. Or maybe not, you know? I'll have to wait and see. Either way, this is gonna make it easier than ever for me to get mastered with Scientist. I wasn't particularly good with Scientist before, so I definitely relied on more of the support abilities for him instead of getting vanquishes. Not the case anymore. Only 25 seconds remaining before uh, we get another win here. That will be great. I'll heal you up a little bit, but somebody's trying to beat me up too. I love how there's so many Steam Scientists that we can sort of do a little switcheroos and they'll think that they're still attacking the same Scientist when in reality, it's just a different one. Okay, trying to be careful here. I can't see what's happening anymore. Oh my gosh, somehow I'm still kicking. I don't know how. Keep it up, keep it up. Okay, that guy's taken out. Hide in the shield. Oh man, that was crazy. <laughs> All right then, so another successful defense. Really enjoying it. Let's see what's happening next round. So we're joining a little late to this round, but we are on the attack now. This is great. It's working like I knew it definitely would. Okay, so it looks like we're pushing a payload. Uh, and, or the payload, and it looks like we've got, already got it pretty far on, along the way, at least my team has, when I say we. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. Looks like the zombie team's already dominating though, so it'll be interesting. I don't see too many plants around at the moment, but that's what we're just sort of looking for, is to go out to the sides and try to get some stuff done. Now, I might be able to, okay, okay, watch it, got that, got that Snapdragon pretty quickly, and we're already level three. This pea shooter doesn't see me. So we can get you. Ooh, pretty nice already. So let's keep it moving now. This chomper doesn't see me. Okay, now he's gonna dig down there. I don't think he could reach me with that. Uh, but he's trying to. Oh man, I was trying to get to that one pea shooter who had the Gatling, because once again, that character would be sort of stuck in one place. Be a very great way to take, out, take them out. I know there's a chomper around this corner. Oh, 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 okay. Which way is it gonna go? Oh no, okay, move it, move it. Oh no. <laughs> wow, that's it. Nice, already had a times four vanquish streak. Let's keep that going as much as I can. Snapdragon over this way maybe, a little too far away. Uh, yeah, if he's not focusing on me, it's pretty easy to do. And here's Colonel Corn with that ability upgrade. But what's super good about this, um, out of anything, is that it can totally negate shields, as far as I've been able to tell. Because it's not about them being hit by it, it's them about, about them being in the steam. So that makes it so this is particularly good against that type of Colonel Corn, or more importantly, Citrons, who are trying to defend that way. So it just makes it an even stronger attack scientist. Which is just crazy. You know, it really shouldn't have to be an attack scientist since it's supposed to be a support class, but anyways, I've already gone into that argument. It's really great for when I am playing a scientist, but when I'm playing against him, not so much. Like, I'm out here in their spawn. I sort of feel bad, so we're gonna skedaddle. Okay, so who do we have over this way? We got a scientist, not a scientist, I'm the scientist. A Colonel Corn and a Chomper. Took him out. So this point's already taken. It also helps a lot that our team is really good. We've already caught up to like tying for top vanquisher right now, which is crazy. Uh, all right, keep it running. There's another one. And it's all been one big vanquish streak. I haven't gotten vanquished once. So let's keep that going. I might not pick up the bomb itself, but I will run out to take out people who will try to take out who will have the bomb, you know? That's it. Let's warp back a little bit. Just trying to give you a hard time. Oh no, I gotta reload. <laughs> I will heal myself. Come on, come on, come on. Oh no, oh no. Oh, 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 oh. at the nick of time. Come on, there we go. So what else do we got going on around here? It looks like you have the bomb, that's awesome. I'm just trying to get these guys out of here. Times 13 vanquish streak. We're running over this way. Oh, I hear a, 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 a snapdragon. 
<laughs> Getting all the names mixed up. Call, almost called him a, a Citron. That would have been wrong. Okay, so you're going invincible, which is sort of fine. Somebody will get you. Oh no, I'll revive you real quick. That way you can just pick up the bomb again. I'd rather that than me picking it up. As a scientist, I'd rather just revive and heal the people who need it. It looks like there's other scientists around here too, so we're definitely getting this done. Let's help out this poor engineer who's trying to, you know, survive. No, somebody finally got me. Yikes. But we still got 14 vanquishes in that time. So we did fantastic. It's fine. Um, Let's keep it going now. Respawn now. Four minutes to get this Mallow Mortar destroyed. It seems like the zombie team is doing pretty good so far. Just gotta keep that up. Now, what are my chances of getting over there? Are you okay? <laughs> You're just standing there. I'll heal you up. Awesome. Maybe I should just go for this one. Um, no, 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 no. Yeah, he's stunned at the moment, so go for him as much as we can. And you. Oh no, I need to back it up. <laughs> sort of panicked, I thought I had one more teleport, I didn't. So I don't think we'll be able to get to that bomb that was counting down, but I'm trying, I'm trying. Okay, so. So we have plenty of time. We've turned around, you know, this area faster than this before, so, than the amount of time we have left. But yeah, I'm definitely having a good time with his ability. It's pretty crazy. Makes me wonder, how powerful is the Super Brains upgrade gonna be? Don't let that land on me. Um, Is it gonna be crazy? Or what? Okay, let me just pick this up real fast. I know you're gonna give me a hard time with it, but if I could just get a little bit farther, I probably should have been trying to attack with my primary weapon in that time, because I can. Uh, I was just being silly with it. Okay, so, respawn. And let's get over this way, just like that. Hmm. Oh no. Oh no. Back it up, back it up. I'm trying to help you out as much as I can, but I need to survive myself here. How did that not get you? I guess it just wasn't close enough. Yeah. There we go, I got him. He just, he just had to chill out on it for a minute. So I don't know how this is gonna go. I'm trying my best to find the people with the bombs and defend them but the plant team is dispersing this quite well. And that wouldn't be the first time. You know, sometimes the zombies dominate for the you know first three points and then they lose on the final one. Uh, especially on this map. Oh, I see you up there. No way I can get you. And that's when things can get a bit tough is when they're maybe spreading out like this. This area is very open, so definitely it can be a bit of a challenge for the steam scientists. I mean, this guy's not perfect. There are some flaws to it, and I think this is one of them. And that's good. It can't be perfect. It's just something to keep in mind. Depending on which map you're going into or what situation you're trying to handle. Oh no, not good timing. I wanted to try to revive you. So you're just gonna run now. Is he gonna come back? I'd imagine he would. Oh no, oh that's actually a bit of a problem. A bit of a problem, but we got it. Let's heal ourselves up as fast as we can. Because I might not have a bomb, but I can vanquish everybody who tries to stop those with bombs. Not the blue blazes, I thought the, why is it every time I throw out a blue blazes, it like makes a point to immediately smash into a wall. But then I teleport, try to make the blue blazes do that, and it's nothing. It just finds a way to go around the wall like that. I don't know. All right, I might as well pick one of these up because at this point, it's looking pretty low of a chance we're gonna win this unless we start delivering them, get the time boost out of that. Yeah, I don't know. Just trying to do what I can. I don't know if it's a good idea to go straight down the center, but once again, I'm trying it. Oh no, oh no. Got him, nice, all right. And now you, ooh, uh, I might be done for. Oh, I didn't even see that, it was, it was under the all-star that was vanquished. Okay, uh, that's not the best situation. 16 seconds remaining. I don't think it's gonna happen. Unfortunately, I tried my best, but unless they get those two delivered right now. Oh yeah, it's not gonna happen. All right then, well, we're still really good leading up to this, so it looks like we're gonna get two wins and a loss 
for today's episode. That's fine, because we still did fantastic. We got lots of vanquishes, earned some good levels for the scientists, and I can't wait to see what might end up happening. Oh, can I get, oh, there's one last vanquish for the road. I can't wait to see what happens with the next character upgrade for the super brains, but for that, we'll just have to wait and see. So there was a look at the steam upgrade for the scientists on top of it, the steampunks inspired costume that I'm forgetting the name of. It is the uh, steam master costume. Very, very cool for the both of them. I would love to hear your thoughts on it. And yeah, stay tuned because we're gonna be checking out the final legendary um, outfit that we got at the beginning of this episode in an upcoming episode. Uh, is there any more ruck staff? I'm a little bit curious. There is. Okay, there's a primal acorn bundle, which I guess includes these things, but I have these two, so I'm just gonna get the primordial uh, nut. <laughs> this one looks interesting. All right then, uh, hunter gatherer zombie destroyer. Let's go ahead and purchase that for 600 rainbow stars. We'll showcase this sooner or later, one of these days. Um, on top of that, oh, is there something else? There's other bundles. Whoa, look at this. Oh, this is cool. So we get the cutlass uh, super rare costume. We get the map check gesture, and then finally a koi matey. <laughs> All right then, so honestly, let's go ahead and get these two. Might as well 25% off if we get the bundle. Awesome, so we get a legendary hat and a super rare costume. And then there's another one, social zombie bundle. This one's not too crazy. I uh, will go ahead and purchase it, um, get all three things here. We get the biggest burger, the Dr. Zomboss happy, the meteoric. Guess we're just going on a little bit of a rainbow star spending spree to thing finish things off. Oh, there's more, there was a different thing there. And it'll just keep going. There's a social plant bundle. I can't afford this one actually, so we'll try to get that soon, but not now. Anyways, that was really cool. Um, I can't wait to check out some other stuff. We'll also be checking out the uh, character challenge hat soon. That might be next episode, the Cuckoo Updo. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.